Near non-stop bombardment, there's been no let-up in Israel's military assault on Hezbollah's traditional strongholds in the south and east of the country. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has told the army to keep hitting with full force. Israel appears to be trying to maximize its negotiating leverage to bring the armed group to the negotiating table. Neither side want an all-out war. Israel in particular doesn't want to get dragged into a long ground war that obviously will be attritious, that Israel will be unlikely to win. And obviously Hezbollah has been preparing for this uh, for nearly two decades. So Israel is trying to put up and ramp up the pressure. Israel has called up reservists preparing for a possible ground invasion. The goal, according to the army, is to be able to return residents to their homes in northern Israel. But many here believe Israel is not interested in a ceasefire and wants a new security arrangement along the border. Netanyahu wants to change the balance of power along Israel's northern border by pushing Hezbollah back and end its military capabilities. It is something that it wasn't able to achieve during the 2006 war. Israel has also been going after Hezbollah's commanders in a strategy to degrade and weaken the group. These precision strikes, raising questions on the amount of intelligence Israel has gathered on what was a secretive organization. This is the fourth attack in Beirut southern suburbs in less than a week. So far, Israel strikes in this district have been targeted assassinations. Hezbollah has so far not shifted the battlefield. It continues to fire rockets at what it says are military positions in northern Israel, still sparing critical facilities and population centers. That this ballistic missile that was sent in the last 24 hours, it's an indication that this is only the beginning of what Hezbollah's arsenal is, and also because the specialized missile unit is still not part of this war, but it is going to be part of it very soon. There's already a humanitarian crisis, but the conflict could be just at the beginning, with Hezbollah committing itself to keep fighting until Israel ends its war on Gaza. And while it has acknowledged suffering setbacks in the past two weeks, Hezbollah says it is ready for an open-ended battle. The group is known not to negotiate under fire, and it has largely refrained from launching a major attack on Israel. Zenechuder Al Jazeera, Beirut. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.